Good morning, it's Haley. I have arrived. And I'm not even behind the couch this time. Well, you've, you've advanced. Now you're allowed in front of the couch. Or am I? Oh, we don't, we don't want to look at that. <laughs> Version one of Haley is in front of the couch. Version two of Haley well, is behind the couch. The Haley that's behind the couch is the one that scared the crap out of you the other night. <laughs> was it last night? It was, it was yesterday. I did make Steven fall to the floor uh, because I, I am very scary. I... <laughs> I, I'm not usually spooked, but I did get spooked yesterday. Because <laughs> yesterday, I had, I'd, I'd worked all day, I was, uh, we were getting close to Jepson stream time, and I came upstairs to get a shower, so I finished my shower. I'd actually come into the, the office and did some work, went back into the bathroom for something, and when I came out, like all the lights upstairs were <laughs> off. It wasn't like super, super dark, but it was pretty dark. And Haley had come up to like check on me, and I didn't know. So Haley was standing at the top of the stairs doing this. Well, so he came out of the room, and so I was walking up the stairs, and I saw him, and I did a... And then... <laughs> I didn't see her do that. I just, like, I'm looking down at the ground, and, like, I came out of the bedroom, and I looked, and there's just this silhouette. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> he, like, clutches his chest and falls to the floor. <laughs> It was genuinely frightening. I have not been genuinely frightened like that in a while. Morning, everyone. So uh, on Tuesday, Alex was my guest while Haley took care of Mal. Today, Haley is my guest while Alex takes care of Mal. Tag team. It's a tag team. So we're going to read some alerts. We're going to talk a bit. And then we are going to... We're going to be ending the stream pretty promptly at like 9.50, 9.55. This is a bit of a shorter one. Because there's a Nintendo Direct today, and I know y'all want to uh, watch it, and also I want to watch it and react to it. So, and yes, we're gonna uh, Haley's gonna do the, the, the direct reaction with me, so <laughs> it's gonna be a new one. The weirdest way to start your tea time: Tiny Eddie's immortal ice cream and carrot slop. And <laughs> <laughs> it's the. And that's the most yeah, I, <laughs> concerning. Yeah, we've, we've never had and in quotes before. <laughs> this is completely new. I love it. 1060 from an East, it says, it So on Tuesday we had a deep dive on Alex's work. Can today's guest give us the same while eating this Eddie snack? In other news, six weeks into Extra Life. Ah, words to hurt Chaz. Immortal ice cream. So that's ice cream that doesn't melt, I guess. And carrot slop. Maybe it's maybe there's not actually carrot slop. Oh, okay. So it's just ice cream, and then the and is they write they write it on the box. It's like ice cream and carrot slop, but every time you open it, there's <laughs> nothing in there. I like that. We got forty nine months from dude, forty two sixty nine four from Goblin Ebbs, twelve from uh, Ale Stegosaurus. Congrats on the one. 20 months from Star Wars Trekkie, 23 from LSME82, 21 from DJ Kaizo, 300 bits from Radio Dread says clown test. Clowns are working. Hopefully. <laughs> clowns. <laughs> Caution, clowns working. <laughs> what does a clown do? Well, I guess a clown is a job. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what does what do clowns do for it, work? You know, it's, that's it's actually job. one of the many jobs I've had. Okay, we are definitely going to dive into your work history today. <laughs> no, <I'm> Three... <laughs> <laughs> I've had a billion jobs, not that one. <laughs> like, you're, if you want to avoid questions about your clown history, the first step is to not talk about your clown I history. I don't have a clown. It sounds like you have a clown I don't history. Know what that was. I've, I've done a bunch, a bun, but a, done a bunch of jobs, but I just figured if I said it straight enough, you would maybe believe it for a moment. I did believe it. I absolutely believed it. We had uh, three bits from Aldo says, "Well, it finally happened. I beat Tears of the Kingdom, and it only took me four months and 120 hours. Looking forward to seeing you guys deal with some of the end game stuff in 2025." That's fine. Did you end up beating? You beat Zelda, right? Yeah. No? Buddy, I have ADHD. I get to the end of the game, and I go, 
Oh, but I'm enjoying the game so much, I don't want it to be over. And then I abandon it. The way that God intended. And, and there's a lot of people right now who are like, Oh, finally, yeah, finally I'm represented in media. Final boss save, and then you're like, oh, but I don't want the game to end. And then you just never end the game. So you have like a like a laundry list of games that you've basically completed, but haven't completed. Yeah. And. <laughs> and. Uh, we had three months at 50, three months, 51 <laughs> months at tier three, I can read. From Trichianthia, who says, Nintendo Direct, I'm the poor fool still waiting for the Fire Emblem Genealogy, the Holy War remake. Uh, Sigurd and Selif, if you're out there. Speaking of Sigurd... Xenogears remake dropping today. I have insider intel, and for some reason, Nintendo's doing it. My uncle works at Nintendo. <laughs> it, the, the Direct today is weird, because like generally leading up to a Direct, like I don't look into rumors or anything like that. But they they have a way of like finding their way to me, like hearing like ah this 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 or this, and I haven't heard anything. So this direct is very I don't know anything yeah. weird. I'm like I don't have no idea what they're gonna announce. Not sure. Anyway, tricky Anthea, thank you. We got 53 months from Quake Sire, 42 from Adrian Kell, uh, 12 from the Register. Congrats on the one. Nine months from Arcane Leo. Rina from Shy who says, uh, you ever just have your jaw crack as you take a bite of your cereal? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes my jaw kind of gets uh, stuck for a bit where like it just mm -hmm. constantly makes a sound. It'll go away eventually when the bone wears down. It doesn't hurt. It happens to everybody. It's fine. It's totally normal. 58 months from Dryzak. 47 from Seafood Seeker. 28 from Hero Protagonist. We get 100 bits from Gold Lighting. Eleven from okay, Cat Lizard. Right. I believe you. <laughs> I, was, I was telling Haley uh, yesterday. I was like, <laughs> in general, in general, if I don't follow something that you say, I come to regret it. It's like there are two people in my life that that works for: Chaz and Haley. Like, I, if, if either of them say something, I'm like, I should probably be paying attention. <laughs> so I try to, uh, <laughs> but not. Y mm, yes, Mal. Yes, Mal. Mal's a good one too. It's just well, Mal tells you first, and then and and then you forget, and then we repeat it, and then you have to remember it. It's true. This is why me and her have teamed up. Yeah. The big one. The big one in my life is is probably Chaz, but that's also why at this point I basically just listen to what Chaz. Chaz should be careful with that power, by the way. Chaz I mean, sometimes we just feed Chaz things to say to you. Tell him, tell him he should like dress up as a banana or something. Wait, no, that's Thomas. No, that's Thomas. You can't do that. It's illegal. It has it's happened. Copyright infringement. I'm so glad Thomas will be here for extra life. That's so nice. We got 500 bits more. We're cats. So it's gonna get some good vibes for my mom. She just told me she needs foot surgery again. Ah, good vibes. I hope that the, uh... No. You can. I've had this problem before where every time I see good vibes, I want to, like, clap, and then I'm so like, that would be so bad. The only, time, the only time I clap is for the renewals. I think that you've been confused because Alex decided to start snapping on months divisible by seven or something like that. Prime know. numbers. Prime numbers, yeah. Speaking of clapping. 12 months from Nervous Jellyfish. Congrats on the one. 14 from Your Psyche. Uh, 300 bits from Shy says, I usually don't get spooked. Says the man who nearly died of a heart attack at Alex walking calmly out of the closet and saying, Hey, buddy. It was the alarm. Because, like, he wasn't, it, he wasn't supposed to be in there. That was what was scary. Like, generally there's not a shadowy figure at the top of my stairs. <laughs> generally. It's fine. Three different cheese hammer says, when do I get to be the breakfast stream guest? I'm in the house. I don't even need to travel. <laughs> Listen, you have to keep that drawer safe in case there's any bugs, you can get them. We appreciate your work, cheese hammer. 
Three from Jay Livex has been taking the journey currently in 2013. Can't wait for the uh, this Eco LP that keeps getting mentioned. Also, five Let's Plays at once. Blimey. Yeah, 2013 was a time in my life. I think that was probably when things ramped, like began to ramp up to the point where I was... Um, dying. Dying. It's fine. 2013 is also... Uh, you're, you're in 2013 a bit. Yeah, I was alive in 2013. Good job, by the way. That was great that you did that. Yeah. 34 months from Furious Kitty, 43 from Shinoth, 44 from JDO 1997, 43 from Back in Red. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that was the, the Pax Fogs where you and Alex met. Yeah. Those are good ones. Those are good ones. That was yeah. 10 years ago this month. Yeah, man. So many. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, I was thinking, I don't have nearly as cool of a job as as, uh, as Alex has. You have had a variety of I mean, of I've jobs, just... Though. I'm pretty sure that was not intentional. Uh, repeat that. Hey, Steven, did you give me decaf or regular? I gave you regular. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you could go, go, Power Ranger. Um... <laughs> We told we told Mal she could uh, she could radio in, <laughs> and she did. I love the yay. So, so that's I mean that's the other thing is that um, yeah. Speaking of that, you're gonna have to elaborate on what that is. Could you heat me up one of the microwave heating packs? I mean, you should probably ask Alex to come upstairs and get it, but I have it here. Do I radio Alex? Oh, I can hear him. <laughs> Let's radio Alex. Oh, oh it's connected. Here it is. Hey, radio Alex, Alex. Come upstairs. I have a present for Mallory. Yeah, I heard there was a microwave heating pad that I needed to fetch and microwave. I'll be right there. Let me put my shirt on. What? <laughs> he had the shirt on when I went upstairs. <laughs> Sorry, I was pooping, so I had my shirt off. <laughs> oh, we don't want to see that. Thank you, thank you. There you Sorry. Go. Anyway, no. give her, like, give like her the, the kitten. Is that is that an official like Call of Duty Call ghosts. of Duty ghost yes. shirt? See, they gave Alex a whole bunch of shirts because they didn't give him time to do his laundry. When you wear the suspenders under your shirt, then you have to take your shirt off to poop. <laughs> I made so many good jokes. Okay. About that. Bye. <laughs> I'll miss you. <laughs> that was only half a joke. No, I believe that. Yeah, it's, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not as cool as him. I, yeah, Chad said the last three minutes have been a lot. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite of the last three minutes was, yay. <laughs> but I agree. Even for me, I was like, that was, there was a lot that transpired in a short amount of time. 180 seconds was crazy. Um, so anyway, yeah, if, if, uh, if you're just joining us, from uh, like several days ago, uh, there is a vlog that I just released yesterday. It talks about Mal's surgery because Mal had a surgery on Monday and she is recovering. She's doing really well, which is great. That part's really good. Yeah, really um, good. Really good. We 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 got everything real prepared in advance. Um, yep. I didn't get the same surgery, but they did slice my neck and my arm open to yeah. you know remove a couple you know loose parts. Um, you I mean, got they, stuff rattling around in there. They weren't loose. They kind of had it, ugh, but it, it's sort of like a similar, like parts of it are similar. So like I was able to give her my wedge that I had slept on and, and there, there's like, there's actually like a lot of stuff that's really similar. And like after surgery, one of the pains I deal with is really bad muscle knots. Like I get injections and stuff up in here. And hmm. today she's like, there's like a rock. And I'm like, yeah. So... 
It's it's. A, I mean, it's not the same. And also, Mel did an intense amount of research, but I just like to feel helpful. And so when when I when I said like, oh, this might be a thing, and then it's a thing, and like we were prepared for it, then I feel good about myself. Yeah. And I'm like, I was helpful. Oh, also, just in general, I want to give such a big shout out to our friends. Um, you know, especially like Alex Haley and Brandon, who have been over here and just helping out immensely. Um, like the reason that I have been able to sleep. <laughs> yeah. The reason I've been able to sleep, the reason I've been able to, um, keep up with like work and streams and stuff is because of everyone else. So, um, I mean, we've been, we've been happy to help. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky enough to now currently, I changed careers again. Cause I just, I just change careers all the time. Like eh, why not? It gets boring. Um, and so luckily, since I'm working from home at the moment, I was able to just bring my whole setup over here. And like, my work is pretty understanding. So I just sort of explained, I'm like, hey, I'm watching a friend and, you know, I'm like, I need to go help friend. So I'll be kind of in and out. And then also my computer has decided to explode. It's fine. It's just it's blue screened again. Your, your computer has the wildest... It's yeah. Problems. My computer got, work computer got real sick. So anyway, we're trying to fix it. But this morning it didn't start. And then it did. Aww. Yeah. We love helping. Aww. And so, and, but it, it's been very convenient for me to set up. And I like to think it's making me like less annoying because I'm like working in the corner. And like, I just want to like hover so I can like scare you. And then also, like, you know, like, but we've been, like, trading off who's taking care of, like, the 6 a.m. shifts and stuff to make sure that you can get some extra sleep. Like, especially on, especially because the surgery was Monday. Yeah. And Tuesday was your really big stream day. So yeah. Alex and I came over um, at, like, 5.30 in the morning, like, right, right at 6 to take care of all the morning stuff so you could sleep for at least four hours straight because that was important. And then also you can go to bed afterwards and sleep between them. Yeah, pictures. that's the one thing that we haven't talked about like the i have those vlogs scheduled for today so like mouse surgery vlog is scheduled for today it'll be out this evening sometime so you'll get more information about it but uh two years ago when mal had her endosurgery um she had to like get up and move and have medicine and stuff every three hours so for this one um it was every two was what was on the literature so when we got home um I, I wrote out the schedule for the medicine and every two hours something happens. So that was a lot. Like Monday night was a lot because I was already like a little on edge and a little sleep deprived, but every two hours stuff had to happen. So like I had to wake up Mao at midnight and give her pills and walk her around and then put her back to bed. And then I had to get up at 2 a.m. and give her pills and walk her around and go back to bed. And then I had to get up at 4 a.m. and give her pills and go back to bed. And uh, Alex and Haley were like, okay, but like you should sleep more than two hours. So maybe we'll come over for the 6 a.m. so you can sleep all the way until 10. Yeah, and, and Brandon also took care of like the, the 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m. yesterday. I yeah. would have, but I had a... I had a fancy eye test I had to go to. So there's been a lot of team effort to make sure that Mao has someone with her at all times and then also gets her meds and, and walks around. And then and, you sleep. Because like you sleeping is sleep. also important to us. Yeah. Like this is why we all moved here. Like yeah. you know, this is like why we all did this. So it's been nice to be helpful. It it does. It takes a village. Uh the so the good news at this point though is that Mao is has recovered so like it's so much better than the endo surgery like she is doing so much better because it's a less i said there was less scraping there was more surgical slicing and less you know it's sort of like how when i scrape my elbow how like it hurt really bad for a long time yeah versus like if i just had a cut it probably wouldn't hurt as bad so that's the difference it's 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 the slicing difference <laughs> So because of that, Mao actually is capable of like getting up in the middle of the night and taking care of herself. And it's only been a few days. And that's really great because that means that no one has to like continually wake up. So like last night, I slept through the night. Mao woke herself up at two, four, six. Yeah, she did. And yeah. ate and took care of herself. So yeah, 
So and I asked her, I said, did you get up and do it? And she said, yes, so I believe her. Obviously needs a valve, like, you know, and I came in this morning, I first like walked in there and I was like, can I get you a drink? And then I got drink and things. It's also an incentive, right? Because like if Mal wants to get, like Mal should get up and get her pills because if she doesn't, like she's going to be in pain. Like she And then needs it takes to... care of the walk too. Exactly, so. Yeah, that's the big thing Mal can't do right now. Mal can't open the fridge door. Yeah. Because she's not supposed to, like, lift basically anything. Yeah, door is hard. Door is hard. We have a subscription from Straw Skipper. Welcome. What a wild first stream to be, be here for. We got uh, three <laughs> from Cheese Hammer. says, I've been enjoying Jep Jep's Earthbound streams a lot. It's been fun teaching him about the whole game, about how the whole game is based on Steven and Friends. Etoys, Shigesatsu, not Dave. <laughs> Favorite internet video series. Dave <laughs> We did learn a little bit about Dave, Dave Etoy. Etoy last night. Yeah, we're always wondering a little bit about Wasabi is always giving us the best facts. We also had 300 bits from Will Peters who says, I wonder where your friend steve might be. I think steve um, went on a vacation and uh, died. So I don't know that Steve will be back. Furious King gifted a sub to Malmix. Kitty, thank you. And Gamers007 Below gifted a sub to Spark Corey. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was trying to think. So I've never actually been a clown. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I honest to God believed um, you. I was like, I just, in my head, I was like, no, I but guess so. I, I've had a lot of jobs and a lot of volunteer roles. And so I've done everything from um, my first job was working in a deli. I also used to do editing for boudoir photography. And I also like redid an entire basement, like painting the drywall and the ceiling and building a fake bed and everything for the pictures. Yeah. Um, I volunteered to do to teach sex ed to deaf adults, mm -hmm. which was actually incredibly important because a lot of them d were like really pushed through the school system and all of that. Like they didn't bother to translate that for them. Yep. So that was actually kind of a fun one that I got thrown into accidentally because <laughs> they chucked me on the stage and I'm like, oof, glad I looked up a couple signs in advance that they didn't teach me in school. Mm -hmm. Um. I did that, I did that. Um, I mean, of course, I, I volunteered for a while at the Humane Society. Um, I worked at a uh, hearing aid factory. I worked yep. uh, in Beverly Hills. Um, yeah. I fixed the hearing aids of the rich and famous. You you got to see some people. You were uh, briefly on a reality show? Briefly on a reality show. Uh, you know, a lot of people I can't talk about because of, you know, HIPAA and all that good stuff. Sure, yeah. But I can't talk about, like, riding in the elevator. Like, I was in the elevator with Charlie Sheen. That was fun. He was really nice. Clearly on something. But very <laughs> nice. Like, super kind. Like, anybody who stopped him, he, like, stopped and would talk to them. And, like, seriously, like, when you talk to people, like, every, like... Everybody felt special. <laughs> like, he did a really good job of just, like, making people feel really special, but he did kind of move like this. And then we were in the elevator, and he was, like, asking us, like, where we were getting lunch and, like, all these nice questions. And I was like, man, I get it why this guy's famous, but, you know, he's kind of doing the... I kind of get it's that fine. impression from him just from what I've seen. Yeah. So, yeah. It just sounds like, I'm like, yeah, that tracks with everything I've ever heard. Yeah. 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 So, like, yeah I remember when, um, um, what's his name? Justin Bieber. I, I have a personal beef with Justin Bieber. I do have a personal beef with Justin Bieber. Um, he wouldn't ride the elevator with people and the building only had a couple elevators. And so he would get the elevator private, which meant that everybody was late for work because he would use the entire elevator. And I was on the ninth floor, so it wasn't really a good time to take the stairs. So anyway, I, I do have it out for him. <laughs> people are loving this. <laughs> Most like extremely random stories. I peed next to Kim Kardashian. We were, <laughs> we were in the same bathroom together. <laughs> um, <laughs> Love that. Love that. It's great. Uh, uh, who's the other one who I could say that I met? Um, the the bartender in The Shining. Oh. He so nice. Yeah. So nice. Oh my gosh. So charismatic. So kind. Just like he was talking, he was talking about, he's like, you know, like when I like was cast in that kind of stuff, it was the thing where like directors like literally saw you in public and were like, boy, I'm going to put you in the pictures. Like it was, he's, he was talking about how that was literally what happened to him. 
is they were just like, you should be this bartender in this movie I'm having. And he's like, this does not happen anymore. But he was so sweet. Very, very nice. And I like that a lot. That's amazing. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know the guy's name. Joe Turkle, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. It, yeah. Or Henry Thomas. James says Southern sure. California is wild like that. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's um. You have done a lot. Yeah, there's also some like mysterious millionaire uh, who I still, I was still, I was hoping I was someday gonna end up in the will, but we'll find out. I was standing there waiting for the bus, and this little old lady walks past me. Mm. Oh. But first, a sloppy blend of disrespectful flavors, tiny Eddie Zoops, all spaghettis. Why is it disrespectful? <laughs> Who knows what it's made with? So, Thousand Best of Fans, Best VT, it says, Happy to see Mao is doing well after her surgery, hoping she has a swift recovery. With so many amazing friends, she is well cared for. It's true. And I can't wait to give her nothing but spaghetti. Um, <laughs> probably soon. <laughs> Probably very, very soon. <laughs> Disrespectful to a dad. Maybe. Maybe. So, uh, who was the millionaire? Oh, so I still don't know. So I was, so I'm waiting for the bus. Yeah. Um, yes, I took the bus in LA. Normal people take the bus in LA. I saved a lot of money not having a car. So anyway, waiting for the bus. And this little old lady walks past me and she's like wobbling. And I'm like, mmm, mmm. And because I am a Midwesterner and can't be stopped. Um, I, you know, I, 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 I turned to her and I was like, are you okay? And she's like, oh, oh, she's like, I'm so, so she's like, I just came from the doctor. I, I, I had vertigo and they did this maneuver and I'm like, oh, I know what this is because we worked with an ENT office. So I knew, and my, uh, my doctor, the audiologist, she actually was really good at the epilepsy maneuver. So, so good that the ENT actually sent all the patients to her. So I knew exactly wow. what she's talking about. And I was like, oh, you had the epilepsy maneuver. She's like, she's like, yeah, I'm so dizzy. I'm so dizzy. And I'm like, I'm like, can I like walk you somewhere? Are you okay? Like I was legitimately worried about her crossing the street. Yeah. And so, and so like, I, I am one street over from Rodeo Drive right now. And, and she's like, oh, well, you know, I walk cause I'm all, I only live like a few blocks away. And I was like, oh, and, and, <laughs> And so, and, and so she's telling me, she's like, you're so sweet. And she's like, you're going to miss the bus. And I told her, I'm like, there's a hundred buses. I don't care. I'm like, I need to bring you home. You can, like, cause like she was like hesitating to like cross the street. And I was like, oh my God. So I've got this cute little old lady on my arm and we're very slowly walking home. Mm -hmm. And she was serious. She did only live like a block away. <laughs> I walk her up and the thing is she was so nice she was just like apologizing she was so worried about me missing the bus and I told her I'm like I don't care like I do not care this is not like this does not matter and I told her I'm like someday I'm gonna be in your position and I'm gonna hope that some nice young lady helps me cross the street so I walk her all the way to her door and it's just this like giant <laughs> just this mansion and I'm like Ooh. And so like I knock on the door and her like house manager comes out and she's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, hi, I'm a random person. I swear I didn't mug her. <laughs> and, and the, you know, and I'm like, hi, I'm like, I'm really Midwestern. And then I, then I got the little yeah, lady in the house. No, ask, are you in the will? That was what I was hoping, but I don't think it happened. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, mid, yeah. I also have a lot of stories about being Midwestern and not being able to be stopped. Yeah, Anise says, why did none of her staff go with her? That's a I, great question. I think she just was like really independent, and I think mm, that she yeah. just was like, oh, I can do it. I can, it's only a couple blocks, but like not considering that like sometimes after the epilepsy maneuver you feel worse before you feel better. But yeah, she was thankful that I knew what was happening and didn't think that she was like drunk and wandering around. But I did have a moment where I was like, maybe she is drunk and crazy. I don't know. Yeah. I just didn't expect to hand deliver this random, this random like 80 year old to her like fabulous Beverly Hills mansion. There, I mean, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of old money, you know, and it, it does make you wonder like who that is. Like, I have no idea. It's really fascinating. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we've got uh, Three Dibbits Moist and Anon who says, Hello, Stephen and Mao. Good vibes kind of needed here. My dad's in hospital currently with blood poisoning. Can't help but feeling so helpless. Good vibes. Yeah, good vibes. My uncle, my uncle had that. He got it from a kite string. 
a kite string. Yeah, and we, uh, he, 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 it was years ago, he's doing fine now, but I know it was a little dicey at the start, because he woke up with, like, the red line. Yeah. That's spooky. Yeah. But antibiotics, good. Good so, vibes. yeah, good vibes. Hope he's feeling better soon. Also 55 months from Oisin Aeon. Appreciate it. Uh, Gamer 7 Delo gifted a sub to Jam Cop and also sent in 500 bits. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So, so then after that, I um, became an optician just for funsies. So I became a certified one. So I passed like uh, my We're like, up to ABSC. like seven jobs. Yeah, there's more probably that I forgot because I did a lot of food service jobs. Um, I also worked at the bookstores at the start and the end of the semester, which was like the best job ever. You worked at the Taco Bell at some point? Yeah, yeah. I worked Taco Bell on campus. You know, you I made sandwiches. Secret. I made smoothies. I made stir fry. Uh -huh. I, yeah, I did Taco Bell. Worked in a deli. Oh my God. I've worked a lot of a lot of things. I'm, yeah, and I just gotta. And then now, now I'm actually doing what I went to college for, which is um, technical writing. So that's been exciting because that was like my college dream, which I know like doesn't. I know this like does not match me, and people are always really surprised whenever they hear like what I what I wanted to do when I went to college. But I legitimately found that I like writing instruction manuals. Like I like explaining things in a way that's concise. And the secret is that I just really hate it when people ask me questions a lot. <laughs> and so it's really nice to like write a really good guide so that they never talk to you again. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. But that's been fun actually for me because I've been working with um, I've been working with like some software. Um, and, and it's been really fun because like this sort of has some overlap with Alex's job for the first time. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I'm like, Frantically texting him, I'm like, okay, would an error message trigger or would an error message appear? Like, <laughs> like and like the the those words matter. Yeah, and like to, yeah, technical writing is fun too because because you don't want to use the smart words. Like you actually want to use the dumb words. Mm -hmm. Like you want to use the dumbest words possible, and and like you you know like you want to use contractions like you want it to be very personable and you want it you, like you don't want to sound too smart you want to you know be, be you know talking so that it's easy enough for somebody else to understand and if in the future it was something that would be translated that would make uh translating even easier because you wouldn't be using all these like random flowery words and stuff so yeah it's very explained like i'm five yeah um but there's a lot of really bad guides out there. But yeah, technical writing is interesting. I've, it's kind of been a big learning curve for me because, you know, like I, I roughly kind of went to college for it in a roundabout way. And then it was just a skill kind of that I kept using. Like at my last job, corporate just didn't really have good guides. And so I ended up writing my own guides. And, um, you know, so it's, that's the kind of thing where like, I've been do I, I I have been doing documentation for like a super long time. Yeah. Like when I left uh, the place in Beverly Hills, there was a lot of orders that we placed that I only knew about because we were ordering them from the hearing aid company that I used to work for, Starkey. Um, mm -hmm. Because since I worked on the phones with the doctors, I knew all like the secret orders, and I also had a I was also part of the ear mold department, so I like. Yeah, the thing about ear molds with hearing aids is they're actually usually picked out by people at the company as opposed to the doctors. So the doctor would be mm. like, oh, this is their ear texture. They have these allergies. This is their hearing loss. And, you know, and I would be like, oh, it seems like because you want to go opposite. So if you have like a soft ear texture. So Alex has the softest cartilage. Oh, my God. I'm so scared of it. So soft, <laughs> you want to go the opposite. So you want to use like a hard acrylic in his ear as opposed to me who has like really stiff cartilage. Like Alex can like squish his ear and every time I see it, I like want to die because my ear can't do that. So I need a softer material. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't know that I know enough about ears to know what soft and hard. Like I understand. Like, is this? Is, am I a medium? Yeah, yeah. You're 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 kind of okay. like me. Because this is this to me in my in my mind. I'm like this would be like a medium. Yeah, it's just you know everybody's got different parts. But yeah, depending on the loss, on the on the type of hearing loss you have, you know, different materials do different sounds different ways. And then of course then you got like the mm. allergies in it. Um, but yeah. Hearing aids are cool still. So I've been out of that business for a long time. Um, but that's been, it's actually been very interesting to see the things because when I was in the hearing aid biz, that was when 
uh, rechargeables were just starting, and they also were not good. Um, mm. And now they suddenly are, and it's been very fascinating to see with my dad, because my dad got some of the first rechargeables that were good, and now the rechargeables can like actually pair up with technology and stuff, which is awesome. And when before that was just not an option, because the, the power was just too variable. Like, you yeah. had to use batteries. Um, you're like, we would only use rechargeables in, like, two people in, like, the two years I was there. Uh, so that's been very cool to see. I mean, also, like, and I think maybe chat can kind of pick up on this. Like, my experience with Haley is that when... The Haley she, experience. My experience with Haley is when she, like, gets into, like, a new position or whatever, she becomes an expert. So... I mean, why not? Yeah, and, and like whenever you entered into um, like each field, like watching you become like super ultra knowledgeable about the thing is always just fascinating. And you clearly still have so much of that knowledge because you can talk about it. Yeah, yeah, and, and it, yeah, it's the kind of thing. Man, so, some of the best days of my life though, as an optician though, were, um, yeah, hearing as well are like earbuds now, Rick's and Wright's. Hell yeah, so good. Anyway, if anybody's getting hearing aids, anybody's getting them. This is basically the norm in the industry right now, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, there's something called a Rick or a Wright, depending on the brand, and it's a receiver in the canal. It's sort of like those behind the ear ones that like you think of stereotypically, but they don't have like the ear molds. Um, anyway, they're little tiny boys, and um, they're so much better than those ones that go in your ear. And the reason why they're so much better, so it's called a, it's called a Rick, or a Wright, because in the ear, they just, you know, do, anyway. Yep. There's receiver and canal versus in the ear, they're the exact same thing. Basically, they take the receiver out of the hearing aid, and they put it as a little earbud in your ear with just a tiny little wire that mm -hmm. goes here. And then it's just this tiny little thing that sits behind your ear, but the reason why it's so good is... So those like in the ear hearing aids, like so bodily fluids don't work like water. Um, you know, so you can make things like waterproof or you know hydrophobic. You can make things oleophobic, which is like you know oil doesn't get in. But the thing is, yeah. like your body is just full of just all sorts of weird little chemicals, and like it's very corrosive, and so. For a long time, people were doing like the in-the-ear ones because they thought that they were sort of a little bit more low profile. But the problem with those is that they often break. And if they mm. break, it's an entire unit that you have to lose. You have to send that entire thing I in see. and be without it for a couple of weeks because people don't really do any sort of... I mean, there's some places do repairs on site, but it's like so insanely rare because yeah. they're so small that they need to be fixed with like a microscope by a specialist. Now, if your rick breaks it's most likely going to be the receiver, which is the thing sitting in your ear. And the reason why it's great is, oh, it broke. There's a new one, see you later. And then in the case that the one behind your ear, if, if, if the microphone or something breaks back there, that's the kind of thing where again, they can send it in and usually the office has a rental. Yeah. And so like you're, you just get to keep on going with your life. <laughs> and also, I think that Ricks are like way more aesthetically pleasing, especially if you have like shorter hair. You barely see them, and like even even my dad, who does not have a lot of hair, you can still like barely see it because it's just like chilling back there. And so it's the kind of thing where you, you you don't lose your hearing aid; it breaks less often. It can have a larger battery than anything that goes inside of your ear, meaning that it can power more things, and it can connect to your phone, and it can do so many cool things. So anyway, uh, they're awesome. But, but... <laughs> you do know a lot about hearing aids. But, but, great day of my life was when... This has happened, this happened to me a couple times. So I'm at work as an optician, and I'm, uh... I got, I got my, you know, there's people coming up to... I'm checking through my list, and a guy comes up, and he's like, oh, I'm having a problem with my glasses, and I'm like, oh, what's going on? And he goes, oh, ugh, also having a problem with my hearing aids, but you can't help with that. And I'm like, actually, sir... <laughs> Oh, something I should clarify is that, so this is a little bit different in America as opposed to European countries. Actually, in European countries, opticians actually usually service both hearing aids and glasses. Oh, really? Um, so it's extremely common uh, for you to have overlap there. In America, we very much separate it. So um, if, if you're kind of like, well, boo, of course you'd know both. That's probably, that's because you're not, yeah. 
in America, we, we keep the industries extremely Yeah, those separate. are very different things. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, the guy was like, I was having problems, and I was like, let's fix that too. So I cleaned his hearing. Because <laughs> I'm like, I could do this. I know what I'm doing. And I'm like, you need, you need a new wax trap. You got your wax traps on here? And you put a new little wax trap in there? And yeah. Uh, we had three bits of straw skipper who says, Hey, Internet Girl Prince, not my first time catching a breakfast stream. Oh, okay. But my first one being able to really participate. Been a VOD lurker for a while as my work schedule usually doesn't line up with my screen stream schedule, but today it did. Send some good vibes to Mal for me. Will do. She is watching. I don't know if she's in chat, she but... She is watching. But when I went down to check on her before stream, she had her iPad with the stream pulled up with the countdown on, and I was like, okay. I actually walked in, I was like, what you watching? She's like, just some little stream I found, <laughs> and I was like, okay. Yeah, mouse in chat. Uh, well, cool. I'm glad that you're able to really participate today. And thank you for subscribing, too. Appreciate it. We also had three and a bits from uh, Adrena Sefa, who just writes, Honk? And three and a Frasatsi says, I am in the process of setting up my laptop, and oh my god, I forgot how annoying it can be. OneDrive is not helpful. Or, it's not helping. Trying to. Uh, yeah. The, I mean, just... <clears throat> I mean, it's true that I typically use, like, Mac OS, and I don't have, I don't, like, have it out for Windows or anything. I don't prefer to use it, but one of the things that I do find confusing is that on, like, a, on a default Windows installation, there's a lot of crap that I, like, don't want, and it really wants me to have it, and I have to go out of my way to be like, no, but really don't. It's like, ah... We'll remind you in 14 days. And I'm like, no, I just don't want this to happen. I have to, like, have a new installation and then go in and start deleting applications. <laughs> and I'm just... Yeah, back on says Windows is just adware. It's just... A, it is. It's a lot of bloatware to the point where I'm like, what? What? Why? Why is it? What? Mm, I don't understand. Yeah. yeah. On Mac OS, I really genuinely feel that, like, everything is just... It's, like, good... Like the the, applica the applications that come with it, they're good. They're pretty good. Yeah, we finally watched the uh, we watched the thing yesterday. Yeah, we watched the Apple event. There's new um... Apple Cat Litter. <laughs> they always have they always have like a like a it's like their version of the countdown screen where there's like a animation or something and it did look like cat litter. It was just floating white and blue clumps. <laughs> For like forever. And, and we're, we're watching like... this and Haley's like, that looks like cat litter. And I was like, ah. Well, I, I think I think Mal, like I was thinking it and then Mal was like, that looks like, I'm like, yeah, that looks like, yeah, Mal, Mal said, I, I was thinking it, but yeah. But Mal, yeah, Mal said uh, it first and then I was like, yeah, it's just cat litter. Uh, it was uh, it was a good event. There's um, they they it was basically for the the Watch Nine, which is not a huge update over the Watch Eight. If you have an Eight, Jesus, don't buy a Nine. If you're coming from an old old watch, you might be able to get an Eight on sale. If you could save at least fifty dollars, I would just get the Eight. If you're looking to it for a new watch, and then the phones, uh, phones good, phones good. There's some really good features, especially in the Pro models. Um, I'm planning to get a new phone this year. It's been a few years now. And um, it's a lot easier to justify now that the phone is just the vlog camera. I'm like, this is just my camera. Like, I, I, like it's cool that yeah, I get a new phone, but what I'm really getting is a new camera. And it's less than I would spend on a camera. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And again, yeah, USB-C. Yeah, thanks, Europe. Yeah, I do think that this is probably the year we would have moved to USB-C anyway, but I'm not going to complain that the EU was like, you have to Thanks, do this. EU. We love you. You have to. This is like one of the greatest things that has happened ever. And the other thing, and I, I think this has probably been a feature on Android for like forever because they've had USB-C, but on what you'll be able to do now with a phone is you can use your phone as a battery pack to charge other things. So like if you need to charge your watch for whatever reason, you could hook up your charger like to your phone and charge your watch or you could charge your AirPods or whatever. So like 
it's re it goes in both directions. Power power supply goes in both directions. Yeah, Ivar says you couldn't do that with the iPhone yet. Nope, not supported with Lightning. Lightning didn't support that. Now nah, the Lightning protocol. <laughs> lightning doesn't work that way. <laughs> but now they don't get that choice anymore. No. Also, in the and this is the biggest excitement for me. Well, one of the bigger excitements is that the iPhone for the entire length of time that it's been around has used uh, first 30 pin and then lightning, which never exceeded USB 2.0 speeds, which doesn't matter for most people, but matters when you're like taking tons of gigs off your phone every day because you shoot the daily vlog and you have for 14 years. Um, it's like a big deal. So going from 480 megabits per second to 10 gigabits per second, it's like 21 times faster. That's amazing. Oh my god. I have waited for that. So, uh... Yeah, I yeah. don't okay. care. Yeah. <laughs> you have a vlog? You moved? <laughs> you moved? I'm just just so excited. Uh, so we have a photo of Mal's setup. So let's show that. Is there so a gamer people, setup? This is, uh, this is what Mal is looking at. Yeah. Look, that's us. Kepi is, Kepi is downstairs with, with Mao in the guest room. Mao's been staying in the guest room. Stairs are hard, and then also we are trying to keep the door shut so uh, Kepler can't sleep in there. Like, he's fine on the bed now, but like overnight... You just don't, you don't really want a pet surprise on your chest. That would not be a good way to wake up at, you know, four in the morning is, is Kepler being like, Hey! Yeah. I'm standing where I'm not supposed to. Yeah, Leica, when I had surgery, Leica was so mad that I had a special wedge and things. So I just took all these pictures of her stealing my wedge yeah. as I stood there in horrible agony because I can't take narcotics. <laughs> I'm like, but you're so cute. <laughs> it's like I stole my bed. But I, I don't think Kepler's quite as, uh, into quite as much thievery. No, he's he's generally good. So it, it but it's not like impossible. Possible. Yeah. And because of that, the uh, the surgeon actually was like, for four weeks, you should not have the the, the cat in the bedroom. Yeah. Pets, and I was like, let's jump. So I don't know if we'll do the full four weeks. It's possible, but Mao is going to be in the guest room, and I've just been sleeping upstairs. So that way we can close the door downstairs, and Kepler's still allowed in my in the the bedroom up here, because if the door is closed and he can't get in anywhere. Th he, there will be problems. I have like he just throws his body full force into the door. I have like some of like the angriest looks Leica has ever given me in her entire life is her stealing my wedge and being like, "You don't need this." And I'm like, "I kind of do. I have a very large incision." And Leica said, "No, here I'll post it and then you can put it up." Kep is a good boy. Yeah, you're gonna get dog text. Haley's posting it into stream chat. Yeah. If mods want to grab that out so of stream this chat, this is like a being very mad at me while I'm like, I just lost a lot of blood, but you're so cute. Yeah, Nitwit says he ends up throwing up too because of the stress, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> They're just giving me the stink eye. That is such a stink eye. <laughs> God, what a stink eye. <laughs> big, big stink eye. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I walked him, and she's like, why do you get a special bed? And I'm like, because I earned it. And she's like, you didn't. Incredible. <laughs> it's fine. She was right. I didn't deserve it. I mean, just look at that. Let's not show that. <laughs> that one, that one we don't show. <laughs> look, here's like the sanitized version. And that's still probably a bit much. <laughs> people people don't need to see staples. It's a lot of staples. Yeah, you can barely staples. even see my scar now. Everybody at PT is like, that is a beautiful scar. The scar, the scar really is... I like, took really good care of it. Especially when you see the photo of the staples, you're like, oh. I mean, I guess I could post it, um, <laughs> but like censored. People really want to see the staples. <laughs> But that's, you know, that's what spoilers are for. <laughs> that's what spoilers are for. There's uh, 53 months from Randy B213. Randy, thank you. And uh, we do actually have to start wrapping up because, we again... We have stuff to do. The, yeah, so there's a Nintendo Direct today. It's at 10 o'clock, which is in um, 
10 minutes. And uh, Haley is going to be watching the direct and reacting with me. So there'll be yeah. a, a fun change. We, dis I, we discussed it and Mal was like, we should do it. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not feeling Yeah, I mean, best. yeah, she's not able to really do that. Uh, yeah, so the options are either me do it by myself or Haley join me. And like, Haley plays video games. She's perfectly um, qualified to do the reactive. I've played a video game before. Perfect. Wonderful. Um, so we're going to uh, do that react and uh, see how it how it goes. Yeah. Uh, things to announce for today. Uh, there is a Starfield stream. I'm doing a Starfield stream. I'm moving it back an hour because of the direct. So the Starfield stream will be at 2 p.m. Eastern today. So that's happening. And then tonight, did we not do beans? Oh, son of a gun. Have beans. Uh, and then tonight at, uh, we're going to say like 7.30. Tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern over on Mal's channel. We will be streaming to Mal's channel. I am not going to tell you what is happening at all. Things. I'm not even gonna. I'm, there's, I'm not gonna explain anything to you. That's for the best. But if you want to join in for something special, then join us at 7:30 p.m. Eastern. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Facebook says the Starfield getting cut short today. We'll definitely do at least two episodes. We might do three. It's still possible to do three, so we'll see. But yeah, uh, definitely follow Malmix if you haven't already. It'll be, it'll be something. Mal says, oh, it'll be great. Uh, Mal won't be there. I'm but, honestly jealous. But the, but the stream will be up. It's a good activity. The, the stream will be up. Well, maybe you can, maybe you can join in. I did so many. I can't, I can't tell. Well, I'll, t I'll tell you about it off stream. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah. 2 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to, uh... Be sure to check that out. Otherwise, I have a vlog scheduled, I think, for 11. I wanted to make sure it was well after the, the Nintendo Direct. And there's another vlog scheduled for, like, 5.30 p.m. or something like that, I believe. So, yeah. And that's it. Uh, yeah, Josh is up. And if you want to watch the Direct with someone, you can certainly watch it with Josh. Because uh, we do ours not... Not live. Not live. You do not them live. dead. I do. <laughs> I do them dead. Uh, so let me get this thing started up. I guess the the Patreon ticker is still scrolling. <laughs> I should have realized it earlier. I should have realized it earlier. Yeah, I'll have to come on another time to do the uh, to you, do all the fabric talk. You are you are you are a great guest. Um, <laughs> And also, and I was saying this to Alex on, on Tuesday, Alex had never joined me, like, just me and him. And you've never joined me, like, just me and you. And there's a very, like, specific energy. There's a specific, the energy changes depending on who is on. Mm -hmm. So, like, this is a good energy, and I want to explore this more. So you have to come back on. Okay. At some point. If you pay me. You, do, you owe me. I, I, in fairness, in, and I don't know if people know this, in fairness, when we have a guest on for breakfast stream, we always uh, get them lunch. What? I've been on breakfast stream and didn't get no lunch. Are you sure? I think I think I did. Because, like, any, usually anytime someone is on, usually what happens is we go out for lunch and, we, and I, I usually get them lunch. Yeah, T Brandon's having the same, yeah. Yeah, no one has ever not had lunch. No one has ever... <laughs> Are you serious? G this is something that, like, gatekeep. ask Josh. Girl. Ask Josh. Well, maybe Josh gets lunch, but some of us don't. I have don't. got Josh lunch. I've got, I feel like I've got... <sighs> We're so hungry. This is a real thing. Mallory can back me up. Now I now I feel bad because apparently I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, the raid. I don't know what the raid message is. You have to. What was the raid? There was one earlier and it was good and I saw it and I don't remember what what you do most of it. Okay, well I'll take most of the time. Yay. Hashtag yay. That's great. Two hundred bits from Straw Skipper. Thank you and see y'all later for Starfield. <laughs>
And we're off. Uh, well, we're not off, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So um, we can do the thing? Yeah. We have to change over stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you have a dome? Uh, would you say stinky dome? Staple. Oh, st <laughs> if, we, if we want to remember the horrifying I, I thought it was. I thought it was stinky dome for... Stinky. For stink, stink, stink eye dog. Stink eye dog. Stink eye dog. Stink eye dog. All right, we're done. Thanks. Bye. Oh my God, my elbow. <laughs>